to 60 in just two moves. Actually, three, sorry. Three moves, not two. A super, a super armor on Ike's up B, uh, keeping him alive right there, keeping him from getting gimped. Okay, killer at 89% now. I believe a down throw to, like, if you read oh the up air, like, that will pro possibly kill this person. And oh, there Oh, No almost. uncharged Great. neutral beast. Not going to kill off yeah. the top just yet, but. Oh, forward air? Not that either. Oh, here he goes. With the He's just been doing an excellent job on the corners. Great match. And very solid two stock from Maverick, knocking K-Killer out of bracket. K-Killer had an excellent run, was just a couple whiffed up smashes away. So next up, looks like we have Sardius and MB0, or is that I need. Yosh. Okay, yeah, we got MB0 and Sardius, so that means another Fox and the resident Ganondorf. Ganondorf's actually pretty prevalent here in this state. Surprising, most people don't think they're too viable in the tournament, but you've got about three in like the top 20. Yep. I need, I don't have the bracket up on my phone anymore. I'm kind of upset. I have to pull that back up. So you guys, we're here at the Invitational on Nico. This is SD God. You know, we're enjoying some great matches. We appreciate you guys being here with us. Ah, punch of swords. My favorite, Olimar. What's good, man? Sorry, guys, about being um, on my phone right now. I'm just trying to pull up the bracket again so I can see what's uh, what's going on. If I can find it. It's dumb. Do you have the bracket on your phone? Because I have no, no idea. I was All right, computer. now we have Ganondorf versus Fox. Zero. <laughs> that versus looks Sardis. soft. It does. I mean, like it's like a cloud. Let me just go sleep in that real quick. The manliest beard. We see him going for the juggles immediately. You know, actually Ganon see, would easily get locked in him being heavy and ooh. I like this matchup air. in Ganon's action. favor, actually, and the reason why is because the power he has. Last time I saw Sardis versus Ganondorf, it was actually play out at Spa City. It can be it can get depending on how Sardius plays it, it can get pretty ugly. I love the way he's uh he's making sure he strings together those fairs, not being over aggressive or greedy for a certain type of you know attack. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was a very favorable trade for uh, Zero right there. Oh! And, ooh, being able to catch him with his up smash, seeing that Sardius is going to have amazing, uh, not amazing, but uh, tons of end lag on the up B recovery. These are times all Fox mains wish they had the down air of Falco. Oh, my. Oh! There's the spikes we've been missing the past few uh, sets. They're back in full effect. Really good for Zero to under, uh, see that situation was coming. That was an excellent read. There's lots of down tilts right here to keep Fox at legs length. <laughs> oh my, I thought he was going for the Ganon side right Actually, there. Actually, I did too, but opting to choose to go to the ledge. Just playing a little bit safe, even though he has a complete two-stop oh read in. What a read. Ooh, oh, could he go smack. for it again? Oh. Oh, oh he's just fancy missing here. a second spike. He's going Get for in with rage. Any uh, the next smash attack to hit Fox will kill. Yep. Oh. Up. Up. Okay. Side B. Oh, what are we gonna see here? Spike. Okay. He goes for the up there. That would have killed him. Sardi is doing a good job trying to make this comeback. Okay. Zero. Not able to recover from that. Although Sardi's at 98% against Ganon with. A full stock lead on him. Oh my, great job converting those up tilts into the jab combo. Doing an immediate 47 damage. Dash attack, not going to kill quite oh yet, my. but doing considerable in a battle not back. I'd say about that one out. The next, uh, the next dash attack to hit will definitely take the stock. You know, what you'll see a lot of Ganondorfs do here in this situation, they'll protect that lead with a Ganon side or something of that nature. Sardi's doing an excellent job staying away from that type of situation. Exactly. He's actually kind of bringing this back. You know, he's only taking about 30% damage. He's got Ganondorf up to 91 now. But one uh, one more attack from Ganondorf is going to take the stock. Oh, my. 
That could be it. Yep. And Excellent edge guard. Really good uh, edge guarding from Sardius now. Sardius coming Fox back. Fox dug in with an Four toads <laughs> gonna take it. JV2 stuck from NB0. The power lies in the spike. The power <clears> lies <throat> in the spike. A. Actually, NB0 doing a They said your beard is OP. Against... Hey, beard OP. It's a cloud. Let me sleep in it. Xander says, did Flame say MB Zero's beard is like a cloud? New main confirmed. What? <laughs> like, hey, 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 I forgot about cloud for a minute. Yeah. Not going to lie. <laughs> All right. Great job. Taking it to Politanus Temple, but, uh, sorry, Omega Politanus Temple. Now, this this uh, stage gives Fox a lot of running room just to, you know, run around, get dash attacks, and just consistent dash attack strings with, uh, uh, I'm sorry, with Ganon being a heavy heavier character that would uh, lead into really nice conversions. I'm loving what I'm seeing got an MP0 in terms of these reads he's getting. You know, not being too aggressive, not too passive, letting the game flow to him. And Sardius is just being his usual aggressive self. He's always been the aggressor. See, the issue you always end up with fighting Ganondorf, you can give him, you know, a full 40% damage and all he does is two hits and it's been evened up immediately. So and that uh, forward to actually almost hitting Fox straight out of the illusion, but that was jumping the gun just a little bit. And most people think you know, like most characters on the game are easily punishable after like up smashes or something. Usually, that's not with Ganondorf. Not the case. He can immediately go into a tilt. It's almost Ganon's, no lag. Yeah, Ganon up smash has. Oh. I wouldn't say zero end lag, but has very, oh. very little end lag to where you can't really punish it very well. We very nearly almost saw a gain inside right there. Oh, the shield. And actually, I'm kind of surprised that that didn't uh, break his shield. Gain is down, uh, down B, actually supposed to break shield and catching him with an up smash, 153%. And again, Gain in a character, very, very scary with rage. Oh, and, ooh, he almost ooh. caught him. Here he goes with the side and B reads. Really nice tech chase. Oh. He was on the opposite ledge. 45% so damage control. with just oh, side B's alone. He's very close to protecting that stock lead. Oh my. Magnet hands coming oh. in. And Sardis has Down to be Smash careful. actually going to take that stock off the opposite side of the map. I keep calling it map. I want to call it stage, but it happens. Yeah. Again, Ganon being heavy, you can get locked into those up tilt combos really easily. Oh my, there's another. Do you see the mounted? Oh, going for the hard read right there. Oh, that turn was around scary. Warlock punch. Oh, that was scary. With the new uh, super armor on it, man. It's more than formidable. It already was. And, oh, oh, oh actually SD. making the back. I got really scared there first thing. That was going to be another very unfortunate SD, but Zero just liking to scare the crap oh, out of us. Oh, goodness. The damage to the shield Gendorf does. There it is, that forward tilt sends you straight at him. Oh, Ooh, three runs up and up smashes. We just saw Ganon pull a fox. If I had a nickel every time, zero uh, Ganon choked me in a match. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Good wait right there, read by Sardius. Didn't go to the ledge, just waited in the spot for it to come. That was actually a really good option just to fall and just do a forward air in case Sardius uh, had followed him down just to get to the Oh, and there it is. And that's going to take <laughs> game number two. Zero up, 2-0 against Sardius. Again, that's a really good option for Ganon as the person he grabs obviously dies first. But it's exactly. a really good mix-up because if somebody tries to overcommit something to you when you're off stage and you get hit by that, it's an immediately stock loss. It's a great way, yeah, it's a great way to protect that lead. Zero being the king of that. Ask anybody who's played him. They've been caught at least once per match, I'd say. It's like you have to be wary. You have to kill him on stage. And with Fox, I'd use that up smash as my sole option because you get to edge garden, that's all it takes. Hearing a little bit of hype in the other room. But it's not bracket, so it don't matter. Going back into this match. Again, even though Fox gets the percent on Ganon, the more percent you get on Ganon, the scarier he gets. Exactly, that rage couple, oh my, a couple fake outs right there. Gave the impression he was going for the, oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Actually, I don't think Zero actually wanted that to happen. Even though it is a really good trade, it resets the stock and everything, but ooh, ooh. <laughs> really good option from Zero just to side B back, so get hit by a Fox's up B, make it back to the stage. 
Again, Fox's up B will hit you straight up no matter where you get hit from it. Man, it's a couple times you just got to be wary fighting any Ganondorf. You know, Edge Garden is just, unless it's all, even then off stage, it's almost a bad idea. You just have to be very careful and choose your options carefully. Because all it takes is one side B from Ganon. And Magnet Hand's kicking in really. And again, Charge is doing a really good job of just getting those down smashes perfect to read the roll on the stage. I love what Sardius is doing right here. He's taking a pretty commanding lead. He's doing a much better job this time of keeping the spacing and juggling. Oh, oh. That was weird. Now again, just perfectly spacing those down smashes that are eventually going to... Oh, oh thought I thought that was, was going to be a takeable situation. That definitely would have taken time. Oh, I oh, he, he was going to go for the get, spike. He, yeah, he was going for the spike, but unfortunately just hit the A button a little bit too soon and just dash attack instead. Look at the look at that! How much rage can go fast? Oh my! At what this point, any here? smash attack oh, is gonna oh, kill. Oh. He was so far off the stage right there. Or even a even a backer. At oh this point my! Is gonna go in. I, oh my! Ooh, the shield the damage. Shield. I thought you know I thought he had him. That was weird that uh he got sent back. Oh. Again, another ooh, oh. and forward oh. tilt's gonna kill a cannon at 172%. Let's see if Sardius can finish out oh. the stock before he takes any more damage. I got my money on a cannon side. <laughs> Sardius doing an excellent job keeping the spacing just right. Oh, 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 oh another one. Sin. I called it. I called it. Oh, man. <gasps> Oh my goodness. NB0 NB0 finishing that defenses. match with a 3 0 victory <laughs> against Sardis. Both players playing <laughs> phenomenally, but. <sighs> oh my goodness. Actually, we man. can't. Uh, MB0 showing, I'm you know. I'm sorry, Locke, but we actually don't have. We can't do three man commentary.